Hi everybody! As you can tell from the title, this video is going to be about Swiss German phonetics and the Swiss German alphabet. Before I start though, I'd like to make a little announcement. A lot of you asked me for my Facebook ID or my Skype ID and so on. And I told you guys I don't use any um, instant messaging devices. I don't even chat on Facebook. However, because so many of you asked me, I actually did set up a new Facebook page because I do not want to give out my personal one just for safety issues. Uh, you can find a link in the description box or you can just type in facebook.com slash mary dot German and you will find me and you can add me. Uh, however, something that really kind of creeped me out is that you know when you set up a new Facebook you need a new email address as well and you know how when you type in email addresses they tell you if an email address is taken or not so I tried <laughs> Mary Angel 24 YouTube that was taken Mary Angel 24 YouTube was taken YouTube dot Mary Angel and so on it was all taken and there's no other Mary Angel 24 on YouTube so that is kind of creepy who, who would take that address so if somebody sends you an email and it says Mary Angel 24 or anything like that, it's not me. And now we can start. Uh, let's start with the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. And now I'm going to talk about vowels first. I'm going to be using the IPA. Um, signs for this. I don't know if you're familiar with the IPA, that's the International Phonetic Alphabet and it uses signs like these. Um, I don't know how many of you did phonetics at school or at university but I just thought that those of you who actually did, because I know a lot of you are linguists or interested in languages, um, might find this useful. So I will be using these. I will still pronounce all the sounds though um, and kind of tell you how to say it so you will still know even if you don't understand these. The Swiss German A in Zürich only though, in Zurich Swiss German, is pronounced like this. Um, as in calm, as in calm down, calm down, ah, ah. So it is quite low. It's not ah or very open, it's ah, ah. Yes, then the E can be <laughs> one of these. So you could just see that the word has an E in it, and it's a German, but we could mean either of these, especially in Swiss German. In Bernese, oh, I'm just going, I'm just going to sound this out first. This is E as in map or man. Then here, um, the American English way that you would say bad, as in I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed. It's like an open E. Then this is just, I think, the British way of saying bad, for example. So, bad and bad, it's kind of more closed, um, higher on the, on the IPA vowel chart. And then this is the schwa. You'll find it in about, about, the first sound, uh, 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 that's the schwa. So, um, for example, in the word lasse, lasse, which means to read, lasse, um, you first have an E, but sometimes you would still spell it with an E, with, with an E instead of an A with two dots. So instead of the umlaut E, you could also just see the E, and it would still be pronounced like this, la -s. And the second E, or E, um, is more like, like, is pronounced like this, la -s, la -s. Then we have words like, Esel, which means donkey, that has this one, Esel, and the second A, it is spelled E-S-E-L, so the first A is like this, Esel, and the second one is a schwa, Esel, uh, uh. So, as you can see, um, 
one letter but four different ways of pronouncing it. Then we have the E, which is pronounced normally. It's just E. Oh, well, the I, sorry. That's just pronounced E. We don't have the one which is the, the lower E, uh, as in a, a little bit, bit, the bit, uh. We always say E. Then we have the O, which is just pronounced as an O, O, O. And then finally we have a U. I don't know why I keep looking down. I actually know the alphabet, but yeah. The U, which is just pronounced as an U, U. And then we have no, the umlaut, which are A, Ö and Ü. Those are the A with two dots, the O with two dots and the U with two dots. Um, A as in map, as I said, Ö as in burn or similar to burn. And then the Ü. It's kind of like when you say Ew, when you're disgusted by something like ew, but just say it really quickly, put those sounds together so it's ew, <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Yes, so those are the umlauts. When you have the uh, uh, vowel clusters as in an e and an i, um, you would think that maybe you would say a or something like that because it's an e and an i but actually you you're gonna say i as in the word i which means egg the same goes for the vowel sequence e and u as in europe it is pronounced oi so instead of europe or europe we would say europa europa eu is always pronounced like this oi What's really important in Swiss German is that you pronounce the vowel length properly because depending on how long the vowel is, it means something else. So, for example, uh, lache means to laugh, but lache means a puddle on the floor. You have to make sure that you show that it is a long one. So, this is all I wanted to mention for today. I hope you're all doing great and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!